Districts are finalizing how to place armed security guards in every school and how to pay for it. The state mandate is not 100% funded. School districts like Manatee County have gone to county commissioners for help. And as 10 News reporter Isabel Mascarenas explains why the county said no. This is about human lives. Find the money. That's the message Manatee County commissioners heard from the public and school board members. Any given school day, 15% of Manatee County's citizens are in our school buildings between our children, our students, and our staff. Our goal is to ensure that our students are safe. It's a one-year contract. The next year, we will always have to come back and renegotiate. The school district amended its request from two weeks ago from expanding its 50-50 cost sharing for 34 more school resource officers in elementary schools to a 70-30% split. The county would pay $1.3 million for the next school year to help with the state's unfunded mandate. The county would also continue funding $892,000. It currently pays for SROs in middle and high school. Schools. But the district's offer wasn't enough. If we're going to do something like this, we are going to have to um, possibly look at raising our taxes, which I don't support. But I also have responsibility as a county commissioner is to protect the residents and the quality of life in my community. And I am still saying, school board, you need to go back to the legislature, get that money to plug this hole. Commissioners voted 6 to 1 not to fund the $1.3 million balance, but it will continue to pay $892,000 for SROs in secondary schools. Disappointed, certainly. So back to square one. And if we have to go out and uh, develop a new job description, hire different individuals, and then uh, coordinate with the sheriff's office to actually train these individuals, we're running out of time. In Manatee County, Isabel Mascarenas, 10 News. Now the school district will meet in a week with the sheriff and police chiefs to discuss other possible options, such as the state's guardian program or hiring retired military or law enforcement officers.